Good morning, guys. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Doing well, uh -huh. thanks. Great, fantastic. Good to see you all. Um, so uh, we're going to start with uh, the growth session. On at 11 sharp, we're going to start with education. And then half an hour later, with the same link, we're going to continue with evolution. So growth is first for those of you who have started or are about to start growing in students. Uh, because we have new members here. Um, let's see what we can do and um, what to offer, what makes us different and what are the best strategies for your growth right now. So September, I will repeat it throughout the whole month, is one of the best times, uh, months of year uh, of, uh, for recruiting students. But of course, not the only one. The idea is that uh, we create for you a sustainable uh, framework for growth but right now in september a lot of people at least here in spain are thinking of uh, taking english classes so what can we do what are you doing and what's the best approach for it now um, i can't insist enough the importance of uh, starting first identifying your target and starting with your contacts this is very important now um Right after identifying your target and doing things every day, doing actions every day, we have to think of uh, what exactly we're offering, what is our uniqueness, what we're offering. And afterwards is the tools that we have to, to do that. So I'll start with a question, which I'm absolutely sure you can answer, but um, from our experience, a lot of people might be looking for private classes right now and probably some of you have experienced these questions can i can you come to my house can i have a private class with you so let's see um what's the difference between a private class and an oxygenity class according to you and this is important uh, because that will condition answering this question will condition the way you approach um, your potential target and what you will be offering to them. So what's the main difference in your opinion? Who would like to give it a go? Anyone? No difference at all? Okay. Is there a difference? I'm going to talk. Yeah, go. Go. Talk. Talk. I have, but, but the thing is, like there's a million reasons or whatever, a lot of reasons, but they're very difficult to have other people understand them. Like for example, for the benefit of us, the material is there, the lesson plans are there, so it's easier for the teachers, right? Mm -hmm. But then in terms of the students, uh, it's the fact of saying, hey, I'm gonna give you exactly what you need to progress. And that is one of the key factors, one of them. How can but you come, so, sorry. But it's so hard to, to explain that. And then the other fact of saying, um, you learn how to talk and say you learn how to speak uh, because the most uh, used skill in communication of foreign language will be speaking, which involves listening, maybe some reading, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yesterday I spoke to a person and said, but how am I going to talk? I don't know anything. So it's like, okay, when they say there's no books, they want books. When they say there's books, they don't. So it's kind of difficult there. But uh, I would say this, it's a uh, very, uh, very, um, experience based learning i guess with no uh, sort of like uh theor memorizing theoretical structures behind but that's not enough Admila. it's not enough it's not enough because uh, you have to you know come to, my house, come to my house come to my house come to my house oh and the other day i also spoke to a uh, mommy who was actually interested in lessons for her child and uh, i called her up now in september and said no 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 not the screen Kid, there is a problem uh, about regarding screens and kids. And then I, well, whatever. And then somebody said to me, oh yeah, you know, but when they go out to a restaurant and they're a pain in the ass, they got the screen there, right? So it depends on what they, the parents want, that sometimes it's yes screen, sometimes it's no screen. So these are the two, this is one of the obstacles I have with kids, I guess. And the value that I would give is that one, like no books, no homework. That's a good thing. Like, there ain't no homework. It's a uh, 100% um, a practice. Uh, you're talking after day three or day one. I don't know. But then it's very difficult to 
transmit that. It's very difficult to actually um, um, have them, uh, uh, you know, actually, you know, awestruck by this in a way, unless they don't try it. So lately I've been saying, hey, you know, before taking a decision and before saying no to me, which, you know, at least try it, give it a try. You don't lose anything. Yeah. At least okay. give it a go so, yeah. before saying no to me. Perfect. With no cost, right? So that's uh, why. This is, I, I, I understand where you come from. It's true, uh, but there are many things here. So we'll try to break them down because uh, ultimately, try one class is the final uh, or the argument that they will understand the uh, the best yeah we can say we can praise we can suggest but eventually especially in the second part in the education we're going to deal with it yeah because these are very important questions of learning actually we've named the talk uh, do adults learn differently or why do they uh, do they learn slower yeah Actually, there is a lot to say about that and a lot of that uh, talk, the, the one on education will give you more input on how to address this type of uh, requests. But there are many things here. So for the for, you mentioned kids on the first place. Yeah, uh, parents requests and what how do we address that then? How do you explain? How do you? Uh, convince and uh, whether at, in their house or online, whether with a screen or not. So uh, there's a lot, yeah? So let me, before I give you answers, let, let's let hear um, Gergo first, who was raising his hand. Let's hear Gergo. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I wanted to relate to, to the no screen policy of the of the students when it comes to kids. Uh, a few days ago, I had a class with a with a uh, sister and a brother, and the sister was uh, well. I couldn't see her. That's the thing. So the camera was turned off, and I think we should tell the the parents in this case that they can turn the camera off. So if they don't want us to see the child, then they can do something with it. And in this case, it was it was for sure the the, the parents were around, and I could see the brother who was around seven, I think, but I couldn't see the little girl. Hearing her voice, I think she was not more than four years old. Yeah, she couldn't really, she couldn't really articulate words, not only mm -hmm. in English but neither in Spanish. So I think this is an option what we can tell the parents that this is possible, and don't don't be afraid to put your child in front of a screen with someone, because they do not necessarily will mm -hmm. see your child. Yeah, but uh, oh, yeah, no, no, that's true. It's true. Uh, although. If I can see the child in person, why wouldn't I see them online? I mean, it's not. I think that uh, their again, their prior experiences with online might not be so great. Okay, so it's all about uh, what we compare uh, with. Yeah, what you're telling me. What do I compare it with? Do I compare online with my experience with with Zoom or with what? Yeah. So we have to turn that uh, idea into something completely different. So this is it. We we have to remember people have experiences. They are not great because academies weren't really able to switch so quickly to a digital format. Zoom is just a, a channel, but they didn't change anything. So by changing uh, from in person to Zoom, they actually uh, they didn't adapt their material. They didn't adapt their style. They just turned uh, one channel into another. So uh, kids might be, they're not so uh, fed up with uh, screens and, you know, online because of uh, someone seeing or not seeing or who knows what, but because the experience, the learning experience wasn't great. So Anna, uh, how about you? What's your answer? Well, I just wanted to add to what Georgina was saying. The problem with, I'm um, probably telling that I don't want to expose my, uh, my kid in front of the of the screen or similar, probably just an excuse because many parents um, from a past experience when I was going to, to people's houses and so on, they just want a teacher to, to take over their kids for some hours or for an hour. Meanwhile, they're doing their stuff, right? Sometimes they would leave the teacher. I mean, they would leave my, me with their kids for one hour and a half and uh, went shopping, for example. So this kind of thing. So probably the parent, they, they look for in-person classes to do their things meanwhile, because they want to, uh, keep their, their kid busy. This mm -hmm. is one one hand. That's why it's uh, 
here I don't know what to say to them really because it's not because of the system just because they want some free time for them really right look um, what works better in uh, when we have a client or people in front of us is a, a very assertive message it has to be short and when we have them ask why it's where we can extend so uh, all your explanations won't be heard you have to be very assertive and you have to go with the short message so do you, would you dare to say, uh, well, you would if you believe it, but if you don't believe it, you wouldn't. So, but I can tell a parent it's better for kids to learn online. I can say that. Can you guys, all of you? Or you think that it's better to learn in person, the uh, like one to one private classes? Because I would say online. You, sorry? I would sorry to cut you out. I would say online. Online. OK, so yeah, me too. OK, perfect. And when they uh, have you or when they ask why do you say so, what will you say? Because I will what? say because if they're like at their house or whatever, they can easily get distracted by anything else in the room, for example, or not pay attention. But I'm sorry, the screen is like absorbing and it's like the tension is on the screen. And but then saying that we're going to take advantage of the kids sort of like um, uh, a addiction to screen is now maybe very nice. They're not but it's true, it's true. Well. But this is, well, 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 they I've use screens heard that, every you know, day. Uh, the, the screen absorbs us, like our attention yeah. has to be here. It cannot, go, if it goes that way, then we're out, right? And that yeah. we got the attention of the kid, so right. we okay. can learn. Okay, so uh, if they go that road that you can tell them, okay, if you want uh, me to go there just to mind your kids, you'd rather uh, hire a nanny. I'm an English teacher, yeah? So there's a difference. Now, uh, what am I there for? I, I can help with learning English, okay? And why online is better and why three? I mean, we uh, nannies are cheaper. Why do you need me? So it's when we start asking questions or when we have them ask questions, when we have the chance to explain. So remember, it's a, a technique, it's a recommendation, it's something that I've learned. Yeah, it's something short and assertive and then answer their questions. The best thing that can happen to you is have them ask why. Why do you say so? Even if it's controversial, don't be afraid to go uh, to, to take the different road. All the cliches, all the cliches um, are kind of, uh, they've heard them. Yeah, so Keep, uh, kids learn better online, just this phrase, kids learn better online, yeah? And then they ask why, and then you can explain, because our online is nothing um, compared to what you know. Our online is three kid, kids and one teacher. Do you know why? Why do we have three kids and not one teacher, different teachers? Why have we chosen out of all the formulas existing out there, Three kids and different teachers. Can you guess? Do you know? Uh, Georgina, I can't hear you. No, yeah, yeah, because I, I speak aloud too much. I think, I think it's because of what you mentioned, uh, or you mentioned from time to time of the comfort zone. So if they get used to the same teacher, they get used to, you know, Maybe the, the 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 rhythm, especially. Well, the the good thing is that for, to learn would be the accents. I I think that like this being exposed to different accents is very good. But as far as the learner goes, you know, every time they see a different person, they're stress and they're more uh, more alert. And maybe that also helps them. They're out of that um, sort of like laid back. I know what's going to happen. I I, I can foresee what's going to happen. And that's actually what we what you mentioned uh, uh, often that that comfort zone is actually not good for the learning. Yeah, I would say that. OK, would, fine. Say. Now we have to repeat that because uh, we have to repeat the, this line of questions. Not until you are very confident answering them, you will be assertive. Yeah, you can't convince because you are not going to convince or convince with the same old. And I know what you, there are two lines. Let me remind you and Akbar, I know that you've raised your hand in a minute. Just wait for a sec. You can go. Uh, choose the easy way, which is leading nowhere, nowhere, rubbish, which is I'm a great teacher, 
take me, I'm native, I'm this, I'm that, I'll help you, uh, I'm going to adapt to you, leave it, throw it to the bin, I can't insist enough, there is a different road, a different road with different outcomes, yeah, kids, why three, why three kids, why three, why not four, why not two, why not one, why not one to one? Well, cause they, they cannot make really alliances between them. So if it's uh, two kids, then they kind of uh, come together. But if there are three, there is always one opinion which is different from, <clears throat> from the rest. Probably. Exactly. They imitate each other. So even if there is a kid that uh, can't speak so well, they will try to keep up uh, to keep up with the rest. Yeah. So they will try imitate. They will start imitating their peers and the teacher. And the comfort zone, it's absolutely what Georgina said is because, yeah, I can get used to my teacher. I'm going to be fine, but I will stop, uh, stop learning at a point. Yeah, I will start le learning when the condition changes and the new teacher is a challenge for me. Yeah, but it's a challenge. It's a positive challenge. Therefore, I'll try first to understand. I'll be very attentive and then I'll try to answer like, their questions. And of course, because all the, this richness of cultural backgrounds mean that they will be learning from so many different people. OK, so this is crucial. First, remember, they will learn better online. Why? Why is that? OK, we have a different proportion. This is one thing and a different uh, approach to learning. What's our different ap approach to learning? Akbar, let me ask you this because you had raised your hand previously. Yeah, hi, uh, long hi. time now, now re reunite. But uh, I want to, uh, and, uh, I raised my hand about uh, the difference between in person and online and why online would be better. Go my on. honest yeah. reaction was also personally as a teacher, I prefer teaching face to face, but it's been two years that I've been teaching online now and I only had a short period with Oxinity face to face with the students. And I noticed that online we can still as teachers encourage uh, some in person uh, practice on the language. So I felt like online always gave the opportunity for the teachers to not exactly homework, but that there were two classes like what did you do English outside the classroom? We only have 30 minutes or 60 minutes to to get you up to speed. But um, but that's why I think in, when it was face to face, we didn't have that element of what have you been doing outside the classroom because as the teacher itself it was a bit more taxing to get to the uh, to the locations so it was already an effort and we're we're more concentrated in that one hour and we look forward to that one hour whereas online since it's a, a, a lot easier we have a lot more to prepare for outside the classroom uh, student and teacher likewise let me yeah, let me put it that way by concentrating the time with you uh, 30 minutes only yeah they will be 30 minutes with you that doesn't mean that that's the only thing that they will be doing this exactly. has to do exactly so this is the added value that we can bring to them when they connect with you uh, in this 30 minutes you are performing something very specific what is this this is the things that they cannot do alone no matter what in an in-person class, in a traditional setting, let me remind you this. We have a lot of things for which the teacher is not necessary. It's not necessary me minding you while you're filling the gaps. I am not necessary while I put play and there is a listening. Yeah, I'm a native. Well, I'm not a native speaker. You guys are. So what's the point of a native teacher playing uh, listening of other native speakers? There is no point in this. Yeah, so this is something that students can do alone. What we do here is clearly differentiate between things that require a human being, a person, a teacher, which is you. And this we concentrate on 30 minutes and 30 minutes only and things that can be easily programmed and done with um, automat in an automated way, which is the platform. Yeah, so further practice is needed. I absolutely agree with you, Akbar absolutely necessary but by doing this by doing this um, differentiation uh, we we actually increase the 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 speed of learning why is that because the two parts 
platform plus class, they are interrelated. And now you will see it will be even more. So far it's been that the automated part, the one in the platform, the game, they practice consolidation revision. Right now, we're going to put uh, content that they haven't covered yet. Why? Because we're going to um, put them to challenge them with something new and little by little they will get used to it as well. But on the other side, we're going to program it in the classes where they will be able to practice it with a teacher. So the benefit will increase and so will the speed of learning, the learning pace. Now what we achieve with uh, also with uh, this differentiation between class, a class with a teacher and a class and continuing on the platform is that we can go for a really competitive price, unbeatable price. So this is something that you can put forward as well. No one will offer them classes at seven euros and 14 cents an hour class with the quality that you do. Yeah, without that meaning, let me repeat that, that doesn't mean that you will be uh, cashing that money, seven euros per hour. On the contrary, your um, rate per hour can increase to 21, uh, 28, 35, and so on and so on. You know that, yeah? So the uniqueness here is you learn better online. It's proven and I can prove it. You try one class, you will see it's a different proportion of students and teachers. And the idea is that you get out of your com comfort zone and be challenged by the teachers while in the platform you continue revising and consolidating. This is it. This technology actually accelerates the process. And this is what we've been trying to uh, synthesize in the two dossiers that I'm going to share with you in a minute. Just give me a second and I'm going to show you and then I'm going to just we are going to send them to you. So they are based on what you know, but with little improvements, the dossiers. So I'm going to first share, start sharing the first one. Do you see? Can you see it, guys? Yes, yes. OK, so very clear the uniqueness of the technology to accelerate learning. Very clear. The, um, the last image is uh, the one of uh, this accelerated program of three months with 30 minutes a day. Flexibility of groups, secure platform, multiple teachers and content adapting to the personal progress of each student. Then the price, which is on one hand what we can do only with a person and then with the smart app at seven euros 14 cents and then the benefits for companies this is for companies if we uh, if our target is getting a company then volume will give us the possibility of reducing price and then again thinking of the human resource manager we have to provide a solution for them as i as we've been explaining no um, organizational effort whatsoever and investing in real training so uh, attendance is uh, guaranteed up to 100 percent pretty much yeah and referral policy 10 percent if you bring a referee for both for the person that is already a student and for the new student yeah <coughs> the rest the platform is something that you know uh, and we have pretty much the same for kids I'm going to start uh, sharing now just to show you, although you will be familiar with with it. Same for kids. So the idea here is that kids are learning in English, not only English, but in English. And we, subsequently, they will be able, by speaking English, to pass any exam, devote less time actually to learning the subject, pay less, and have more time for other activities and learn faster. This is the uniqueness. This is the unique selling point, yeah, for kids. And of course, they for the bilingual project, they will be able to um, 
to communicate well in any subject that is taught to them in English. All right, so uh, the target itself, again, companies is should be probably the most interesting um, target. Why? Because the speed with the same effort, we can achieve more. We know that. And if I were to set an objective, because I know you guys are teachers, so I know that uh, it's different when we talk about with uh, commercial franchises and with you teachers. So with you start simple with your contacts, but behind every professional, beh behind every, uh, pretty much every adult, there is a company, try to get to these companies, try to get uh, one, two visits a, a week, we will help you. And then we're going to do the rest and the rest is provide the best service at the best price. This is it, yeah? Technology that accelerates learning at the best price with fantastic teachers for seven euros, 14 cents an hour. Questions, guys? Any question on your behalf? Before we go, Georgina, anything? No, Mari Carmen? Hi everyone. Hello. I just I wanted to ask something. I, I got an idea and I would like to know uh, to hear if you guys think it's a good idea. Um, I'm sure uh, many teachers like, like me have found the situation where when you've been teaching kids for a while and they already know you and the mother is happy with it and you propose obscenity, they sort of say, no, but they're used to you and you know you've done the proper follow up and <clears throat> we're happy this way and and I know that it's much better for them to join Oxinity, but mm, what they know is that they're happy and what they don't know, they don't need to know, sort of thing. So I came up with something and I would like to, to know what you guys think about it. I proposed to them, in fact, I'm waiting for some answers. I proposed this because I saw um, the mothers blocked on what Georgina would say at the beginning, the app and screens and things like that, and, and we're happy with you, etc. So, Sometimes you get caught there and it seems like there is no way out. So I thought about something and I'd like to know what you guys think. And I said, OK, since you have to understand and I would like you to try that different accents and different kits and different situations to focus these 30 minutes online do make the difference between a private teacher and do make the difference between me going to your house. How about once a month I have you as a teacher one week but the rest of the weeks they get to hear others to make a transition between the yes and the no situation at the very beginning. They sort of trust because they trust what they already had. I give you this solution, but the target is for you to realize that the other way is much better. So as a proposal, as a transition, and it feels like that they are thinking about it at least. So instead of a drastic no, because they know what they had and they know what they wanted, they sort of say, well, maybe it's worth a try. And that way, once they get on the wheel and they understand that it's so much better and they get to know the system after a month, things can change. Yes, I, I see where you come from. It's a fair point. Uh, what do you guys think of what Mari Carmen said? Well, I think okay. that it's a good way of, uh, sorry. No, no, go, go. I think that it's a good way of transition, really, because sometimes it's really difficult to convince those you had from the past and you've been working with them for a long time. Probably like too drastic change probably is going to scare them. But well, if you offer this type of, or, well, this distribution of class, at least at the beginning, then they will get used to different teachers, different time, at least for the, for the beginning. I think that is a good idea, really. Okay, yeah, uh, Georgina, how about you? No, what I what I say, which I think it's I, th I think it's a big value, and maybe we don't talk about it enough. But I say, you know, when they're exposed, I insist different accent is actually good for them. And I would say the same thing. When I taught in the academy, the kids understood me, they understood Georgina. But then you put on like uh, you, they listen if you listen to Steve or to Mark, they understand anything, right? Or if they listen to like a hardcore Texan Texan guy. They will understand. So the fact of um, having this rotation between different teachers, that's how they're going to learn actually English. If not, they learn like Georgina English, and that's not yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not it, right? And this rotation is actually good for them to 
you know, certainly, well, there's nobody from Australia here, but, you know, if you're Gary speaking uh, or, you know, Roland or, and we all speak differently. It's very good. It's, it's actually very good. It's actually very it's, good. I mean, it's very good. Georgina, can I suggest something? Because uh, Mari Carmen just raised a very interesting question. I'd like to answer it in the following uh, meeting. Let's change meetings. We need to start the education one. And we'll answer this question, yeah. We'll yeah, and Roland, you you will be, uh, you'll have the chance to explain as well. See you in the other one. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye.